Welcome to a Rint channel and welcome back to Sheet Metal Course. The final tool of the 4 corner options is called the corner relief. If we click on this, at first it looks quite complicated but actually it's not too bad. Firstly scope is just the sheet that we are working with, so it'll probably automatically prevail like this. Then we can choose either a 2 band corner or 3 band corner. A 2 band corner is something like this, we've just got 2 bands next to each other. We don't have any 3 band corners in this model, so if I select 3 band and then press collect all corners, they will tell us there aren't any 3 band corners here. But if we select 2 band and press collect all corners, it will pick up that corner automatically, and the faces of the corner will appear down here. Then we can basically just add some relief cuts in the corner here, so we can cut away some material to make it easier to bend. There's a lot of different options, basically just different shapes of how the relief will be cut. For some of the options we can use an actual size, or we can use a ratio, so we can link it to the thickness of the sheet, and each version has got different sub-options. So let's just try circular, and then press OK. And then that corner relief is added, and this will just help with bending and actual manufacturing in real life. Now a 3 corner bend might look something like this. Let's add a couple more edge flanges on this edge here. So we've got a more complicated bend here. We've got three bends coming in. One, two, three. But the corner relief can still basically work in the same way. So let's select the corner relief tool. This time we can choose three band corner. And if we press collect all corners, it will automatically get that three band corner. And it's got all three of those faces there. Then we can just change the type of relief, the shape and the size and everything. And that will help us with that corner in the same way. Then we can press OK. And now we've got away that corner relief there. Now the final thing to look at is, we might remember in the previous video, when we flattened the part, we had some extra corner relief options under the break corner option. So we'll just have a quick look at those. Firstly, I'm gonna delete these corner relief options in the folded part. And then I'm gonna flatten the part. And then now under the corner options, we've only got the corner trim available, so we're gonna select that. Then here at the top, we've got some relief options. We can now press collect all corners. And we'll just automatically get those corners where the bends are. And then we can change the relief type here. There's a few different options. We can change the size. And we can press OK to add those. So it's basically just adding the corner relief in a flattened state instead of in a folded state. Remember, if we add this and then we now unflatten the part, this corner relief will be removed. So there might be cases where we want to use this, where we just want to add the corner relief right at the end just before us export the parts for cutting and manufacturing. So corner relief is a tool that depending on what we're making, we might barely use or we might use it on nearly every model that we make. But luckily, it's fairly straightforward. All we need to do is select the tool and then choose collect all corners on a 2 band or 3 band corner and then apply the corner relief and change the parameters to what we want. We can also apply it to a flattened model right at the end and then do the entire step right at the end. In the next section, we'll start to look at a few not sheet metal techniques for making our parts and then converting them into sheet metal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like. I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.